What is happening, guys? Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever part you are. Uh, this is AutoCAD 2020 first level tutorial, chapter one. Angle space is what we're going to do today. I'm going to knock this out of the way. This is where we're going to start drawing. So um, I'm not going to waste too much of your time. So let's get to it. Uh, this is going to be the final kind of look of the project. And that's what we're definitely going to create. So let me maximize this. Take as much room as possible. So what we're going to do is hit line. And obviously, hopefully you guys have an open, fresh, new sheet. And then we're going to type in 00. zero. And then make sure your ortho mode is on it. That's not showing F8. F8 is on top of your keyboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit 3. And then we're going to shoot up. And then we're going to hit 1.5. The reason why when I shot up and I hit 1.5, a lot of you guys are probably going to look at this picture and think 2. See, if, since this is bottom to top, but don't hit 2. Uh, since this is diagonal right here, this slash kind of made it you know a lot smaller than it really is. Um, you know, hypothetically speaking. So we're going to stop at 1.5. Okay. So we stopped at 1.5. Once you guys hit the escape key, click control S to save. Make sure you're constantly saving your work. All right. So back in the origin of zero, zero, we're going to hit that and we're going to type in 0.25. Okay. So when we hit 0.25, um, we're going to shoot to the right, type in 0.75. And then we're going to shoot up. We're going to type in 0.50. And then we're going to shoot to the side. And we're going to type in 0.50 again. How we got 0 0.50, you guys are probably asking and wondering. It's because if you, excuse me, it shouldn't even be 0.50, it should be 0.75. I was going way too fast on that, sorry. So let me take that off. Hit space for, oops, don't want to do that. Hit line again, click that, and click 0.75. There we go. I was going a little, way too fast, sorry about that. So back on the picture, how I got 0.75 is if you can see this bottom right here and you can see the top, they're symmetrically identical. So instead of the author being repetitive and repeating it, he kind of wanted you guys to use your noggin and realize that. Okay, so back to the picture. So we click online and then we're going to shoot back up. Okay, hold on, click online, highlight it, shows endpoint, shoot back up. We're going to hit 0.50. And then when we go back to the picture, as you can see, that's not indicated. But as you can take your thumb, right, and then your index finger, and compare this 0.50 that I'm circling to here, they're pretty much similar. And you can kind of see with your eyeballs. Um, you can make that assumption. Um, you can also do math. And in other videos, I'm going to break it down to you how to make it a lot easier for those who aren't, you know, really math gurus or really don't understand math and that concept. All right, so next thing is next, we're gonna hit F8 or undo the ortho mode, so it's like this. So F8 on your keyboard, and we're gonna hit Shift and Add. So when I say Shift and Add, you do it simultaneously. So the Add key is like at Gmail, at Yahoo, at Hotmail.com. So Shift and Add, we're gonna type in 1.25 comma, and then we're gonna type in 0.75 and hit Enter, okay? So now we got this line. And the next thing on the line that they're telling us, we're going to hit F8 again, or ortho mode is one. And then all we're going to do is play connected dots. So hit endpoint. Bam. Okay. Click Control S. And you know me, I love showing my dimensions. It makes it easier for you, it makes it easier for me. Uh, it's like I said, this is not recommended. The professors probably don't want that in the beginning. You know, probably gives them a headache. Um, and by the way, if you, you're having all these words pop up, just hit the escape key to kind of take those off, okay? You know, if it's getting a little annoying, just hit escape as much time. And I'm going to hit that. Connect the dots. And I'm going to Pam. Pam. Escape key. You know, I just, I just like making it easier for my students trying to learn this. I like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate this. I got so many videos I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, I think we hit that on the nail. All right, so one thing about this that I kind of hate about this textbook that they didn't really show is if you kind of look at this picture, like I said, this looks like it's 
starting at x1 so like one one c so like down one up one type of thing but watch when i do that so and then by the way this right here remember that means diameter not radius but diameter that symbol so diameter so watch when i do one one see no it shoots it no we don't want that okay i'll show you kind of what they're kind of telling you what to do and that's what i kind of hate about you know the little knockoff about this book is they don't tell you right away in the beginning you learn later on you see this two looks like a horseshoe type of thing it's called offset right it's on your home page by under modify tab um, excuse me on top of the modify so you click on that and see where it says through you just click enter and you click on this line right here and then you shoot to the left and you type one and then you go down here you shoot to the right and then you scroll up and you type one and now you can hit circle center diameter click it right on the middle where it says intersection hold on to that expand it and type in one since that's what our dimension is hit radius excuse me, not radius, hit dimension, show that, click on this line, delete it, click on this line, delete it. And since this is kind of long, I'm going to shorten that. And there you guys have it. Chapter one, angle space. Like and subscribe, comment down below. If you felt like it was going too fast, stop PM me, shoot me a personal message on my Instagram or Facebook. Thank you guys and good luck. Excited to see you succeed.